guys, the Spells here, and today I'm making a very special video. I'm going to be recommending to you guys top 10 Briar YouTubers to watch. Now, I will not be including YouTubers like HoneyHeartC or Foxfully123 because literally everyone already knows them already, and it'd be kind of silly to put them on this list because just basically everyone already watches them. Also, these are not in any particular order, like not from best to least or least to best. This is just 10 that you should watch, not in any over another. Yeah. So let's get started. Number 10, Aiden's Toy Trove. Now they just have really helpful videos and like just fun unboxing videos and a bunch of cool horses. And basically like unboxing videos are my thing. I just love watching them. And they just have all these cool collection tours and tutorials. They're just super helpful. Also, they have an amazing shop where you can buy our horses at reasonable prices. So I would definitely check that out as well. And they're just basically awesome. So yeah, that's it for them. Number nine is Mega Killer Whales. And they also do unboxing videos, which I love. And they're super entertaining. Sometimes they go on toy hunts. And they're just really high quality and cool and do really awesome reviews. So I definitely recommend them. Also, their collection is one of my favorites in the community. They have just the best collection. So I definitely recommend watching their collection tours. So yep, just go watch Mega Killer Whales. They are awesome. Number eight is Wild Spirit Stables. And I definitely recommend her for first time showers. She just gives so many awesome tips and tutorial videos on how to pack them or fix up rubs or what horses you should have in your show string. She's just super duper helpful. She also does some reviews and tag videos. So I definitely recommend her for horse showing. Also watch her collection tours. They're pretty cool too. So yep, yeah, that's it for Wild Spirit Stables. Go subscribe to her. Now we're going into a different category. We're going into Briar Horse Filmmakers. So first up is Sunspeak234. Sunny, there are no words. Just her films are amazing and the effects are crazy. And her writing is amazing. The scripts, the characters, they're all just so awesome and her thumbnails are just like, how do you do it? I'm so jelly. But if you are under the age of 13, I advise you do not watch her videos. Or if you're okay with more mature stuff, then you can if you want to. But still, her videos are absolute goals and I'm so jelly of her writing skills. Next up is Falcon3562, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. She made the series Captive Darkness, and basically the scenes and sets are just amazing. Like, I don't know how she has the energy to make them look that good. Camera quality is outstanding. The costumes are crazy. I, I don't know how you have the energy to do this because I would be way too lazy to make the sets look that cool. Also, the voice acting is spot on and the foals are super cute. So yeah, that's it for her, go subscribe. Number five is the Guardian of Fire. She just has the greatest editing skills I have ever seen. Just the glitching and the main title she does, they are all just so amazing. Also, her camera quality is awesome. She's revamping her series Escape and it's now going to be called 72 and I am so excited for it. it. Just looks amazing like all of her other films. Also, her lighting in her videos. I don't know how she does it. They just look it just looks so cool the way how darkly lit they are and also the props are great and so creative. So yeah, that's all I have about Guardian of Fire. Number four is Blizzard645, and Blizzard, you are awesome. She came up with the series Mystery of the Floral Maiden, which is made with stable mates, which is super cool because stable mates are sort of unloved, I feel. So that just makes it extra awesome. 
That's not the only thing she does though. She sometimes does reviews, a bunch of extra stuff, and I love how it's in a high school setting because that's not really used a lot in this community, and it's a mystery, so it's super cool. Also, the new voice acting is super awesome, and I may or may not be in future episodes, so you guys will have to look out for that, and I'm super excited for the continuation. So yep, please go subscribe to Blizzard, she is awesome. Number three is Stony or Stonehouse Stables, or Stonehouse Stables Productions, or Casey Lynn, or whatever else she tried. So Stony is completely revamping her channel and she's coming back as a model force person soon. So look out for that. Don't worry. She's going to be a model horse person again. She went to vlogs for a while and then she realized that she's going to come back to ponies. So that's super exciting. Look out for that. Number two is the Star Warrior horse. Because she actually made my profile picture and I'm super grateful for that. So she does a lot of Briarfest videos and she used to do tag videos. I don't know if she's still gonna do that. Her most recent video was Nan 2016 photos. And I know from her Instagram that she does a lot of model horse show stuff. So maybe there'll be more of this in the future. She's just a pretty cool person. She also works with wild horses and it's super cool so it's just a good channel to check out and watch some of the videos they're pretty cool and number one is zebra stripe 101 her videos are super cool her unicorn cove one was super creative and really just cute and i love how it was used with classics and i'm super excited for the fallout just looks like an overall amazing series super good quality super creative and kind of super adorable in some ways and she really reminds me of honey heart c for some reason i don't really know why she's just super awesome so go check out zebra stripe 101 i hope you guys like this video thanks for watching bye